Oh! Oh, man. Brutal car crashes, compressive forces, and of course, more don't pull it out type scenarios. Today, we are reacting to the wildest medical scenes and injuries from Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Fair warning, these graphics are crazy realistic. Let's dive right in. Oh! Oh, man. Hit right in the front. Messes with your trachea. Could have your esophagus right next to it. Only very small blood vessels that are on the front. We'll do a procedure called a crike, basically where we'll actually cut this open to put a tube in the neck in an emergency situation. And it bleeds, but it's not as if you were cutting the sides of the neck where you have your major blood vessels on either side. The major blood vessels are protected by your skin, multiple different layers of muscle, but they are open to getting injured. Here we go. Oh, you get hit? Okay. <gasps> what? Shot in the back of the head through potentially the helmet. We wear these big helmets. They are not bulletproof. They are potentially bullet resistant. If that person could get to a medical facility and their family or the patient wanted to be a, an organ donor, that is a prime example of good organs that can be used for somebody else's life. Let me see my what? A device rigged up with wires. We know what that is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Cut the red! Wow. In instances where somebody has an explosion that happens near them, they're getting compressive forces. There's a chance you can have what's called a pneumothorax, where air is actually forming outside the lung. Yeah. Oh man! Super worried about injuries to your ACL, your medial collateral ligament, and your medial meniscus. That's why we call it the terrible triad. There's three parts that get injured. There's a magic number. It all just has to do with the mechanism of the angle and it popping open. This is actually seen a lot in football injuries when somebody gets hit and falls in a weird particular way. You see those type of injuries. Oh, okay. Interesting. Knife wound to the neck itself. This area we consider zone two, which is the most dangerous area because you have all your vital structures. Jugular vein that sits on top. It's a slower bleeding vessel, but it's very large versus the carotid artery, which is deeper, but smaller, pretty much a shoot off of your major blood vessel. So it's pumping really hard. So you're gonna lose blood pretty quickly. Oh, blunt head trauma, skull fracture, intracranial bleed, you're thinking a subdural bleed, unlikely a subarachnoid, unlikely an epidural in that area where you're getting hit in the posterior part of the head. We see these all the time when people get brain bleeds in their subdurals, most likely in the civilian world, car accidents cause these things, but most of the time it falls. Helicopter. <gasps> Get out of there. If I was in a helicopter and start doing this like crazy spin, I would puke my brains out. People get nauseous and potentially puke with roller coaster rides or spinning because your five senses are off. So your body gets this nauseous feeling. Whoa, super cool. Not a fun ride down. I always tell people when they fall, tuck and roll. A lot of people will reach out with their arms and snap a wrist, break a forearm. The parkour individuals that jump around and they don't seem to hurt themselves, they're doing lots of tumbling when they land. Parkour! <gasps> Whoa, knife embedded right in the posterior left side of the neck. It's in the back, there's a lot of muscle tissue there. The major blood vessel is actually here in the neck versus getting stabbed just behind it. So that's why this individual is one not bleeding out and they're able to function. The obviously adrenaline, it's just a puncture wound, stab wound directly into muscle tissue. It is but a scratch. Oh, that's going to potentially do one of four things that I can think of. Cause a pneumothorax. Then you can actually get blood that forms in that same cavity and causes the hemothorax. It actually can stab one of the ventricles of the heart itself. If it's low enough, it actually might hit the spleen and you can have a splenic laceration and splenic injuries. Multiple different things that can happen just depends on the specific location, obviously where the knife goes in, but in that area, that's what you were thinking. <gasps> that is a situation I would not want to be in. Oh my gosh. 
the injuries that you would see from this type of car accidents are random. Random! You're getting a CT head, CT neck, CT chest, abdomen, and pelvis, any x-rays of any limbs. You'll also get a chest x-ray and a pelvic x-ray right away because those are super fast images that really help a lot. If somebody has a bad pelvic fracture or something called an open book fracture of the pelvis, there could be a lot of bleeding in there and you want to temporize that immediately before sending them to another part of the emergency department. Her life is in your hands now, Fara. Stay awake, she lives. Pass out, she dies. What? Shut up. Somebody passes out. We use a term called syncope. Typically it has to do with blood getting to your brain. It could be from blood volume, could be from dehydration. I'll make it tougher. Not that way, Fara. We see people who have near drowning. Sometimes you can have a dry drowning, basically water in the lungs or spasming related to swallowing of water into the lungs. Oh, explosive injuries. With the fall and debris, oh my gosh. Your vestibular apparatus in your ear is gonna get all jacked up because of the compressive forces, puncturing your lungs, injuries to the chest causing chemonumothoraxes, any fractures that can occur, anything that could be impaled into your body. Plus now you're falling through the floor, you're having all these other debris fall on you causing more injuries. That's why you see people getting up slow. They're also getting up slow because their brain's concussed and they just don't know where they are. Come on. Good job, Captain. Goodbye, Ooh. Captain Price. Anytime in anything we've ever seen, video games, movies, where the villain just starts talking too much, probably don't get it done. You got me monologuing. Yep, too much time. Wow, they're wearing a vest, but up here you may not have any protection other than the straps. You have your lung tissue in this area. There's major branches off your aorta of blood vessels right underneath your clavicle there. So that can get injured and have a lot of bleeding, could die pretty quick. Typically, if you're just getting hit up in that area and it's not hitting your heart, you might be down because of pain or shock from the emotional standpoint, not from a physiological standpoint. wrapping a rope around this guy's neck. It's gonna decrease the blood flow in and out of the head. Typically, the compression of the trachea isn't as much. You're getting more decreased blood flow to the brain itself. As you saw, it took a little while for the individual to become kind of lethargic and out of it, which makes sense. Oh my gosh! breaking the glass, and then causing the abrupt snap from the fall. Two ways of dying the snap, which will cause something called the hangman's fracture, significant torque to the, the head itself. Super injured will stop you from breathing, basically. If that doesn't do it, His neck did not break. now you have all that weight compressing down on all those major blood vessels and you'll eventually pass out and then succumb to the injuries. Crazy, super cool. If you guys enjoyed my reaction to this, do me a favor, let me know in the comments. Let me know of any other scenes or gameplay that you want me to check out or any other Call of Duty games that you want me to check out. And as you see, I'm wearing my merch. The merch dropped, it's limited, so check it out in the link below. Make sure you check out this playlist right here. As always, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button for me, and turn on your bell notifications. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.